Hello, it's Caitlin Jenkins here, the family law vlogger. Welcome to 2023. Uh, quick vlog, just thought I'd jump on the vlog at the start of 2023. Quick look back, quick look forward about what's going to be on the vlog over the next few months. So look back to 2022, family law world. I suppose the, the main thing that just has to be mentioned is the change to no fault divorce in April 2022. Um, took away the need to have an adultery petition or an unreasonable behaviour petition if people were wanting to divorce in less than the two years or five year separation. Big change. Um, the press have had some commentary about whether it's increased the number of divorces. I Anecdotally, I really don't think it has. There might have been more divorces started after April, but I think that was a bit of pent up demand. We saw a lot of clients waiting um, who were already decided to divorce in the early part of 2022, but decided not to start the divorce until after the change in the law to take advantage of it. So personally, from what I've seen in practice, I don't see that it's increased uh, the divorce um, numbers of divorces for sure. Other big change that came part of that change to divorce law, which the press haven't picked up on as much, is the ability now for a couple to file for divorce jointly. That's been a really big change um, and actually a really positive change. Instead of one person having to bring the petition against the other, they can a couple can decide to actually bring the petition together to decide to apply to divorce together. And psychologically, for many, that's that's really helpful and, and really suits. Not for everybody, of course, but that's been a really big change. So those key highlights from 2022. What about 2023? So we start the year with the same difficulties in the court service that we had for the last few years, not just 2022. Um, in common with many public sector arrangements, really struggling with, with quantities and resource. So court system still struggling, hoping maybe we'll get some traction, some change in that in 2023. Uh, and also uh, continued support really for families in the various different ways that they need it, I suppose is the highlight for 2023 or the aim for 2023 perhaps rather than the highlight. Um, not just courts, but lots of different ways of helping clients um, solve their, their family law problems, whether they're married or otherwise, whatever the nature of the issues. So lots to go out on the vlog this year. Also going to continue the uh, chain of vlogs that I uh, need to complete about the fin financial court process and how that works if you're getting divorced. So look back at the previous vlogs on that if that's of interest. Always open to ideas about future vlogs or specialist topics. I'm going to do some deep dives into some specialist areas this year as well. So do get in touch. My details are underneath this vlog. Thanks very much.